We've talked a lot about the U.S. government trying to censor rock music in the 80s and then going after television and radio decades later following the infamous Janet Jackson incident at the 2004 Super Bowl. But we haven't talked about how radio giant Clear Channel, which is now called iHeartMedia, came up with a list of over 100 rock and roll songs that they supposedly banned. But did they actually ban those songs or was it inaccurately reported in the media? That's what we're going to explore in today's video. With it being the 20th anniversary of 9-11, I had a lot of requests to do this story. Known as the infamous Clear Channel Memorandum, the radio giant who owned over 1,100 radio stations across America at the time would issue a memo to its programming directors on September 14, 2001, three days after the attacks. America was in mourning, and it wasn't just Clear Channel wanting to change their programming, as even television shows, including NBC's Friends, edited out a few scenes from season 8 that dealt with jokes about airline safety. The Clear Channel memorandum listed over 160 songs that were deemed, and I quote, lyrically questionable, and what the company considered to be offensive and or insensitive to be playing in the aftermath of the attacks. Some bands had select singles from their catalog listed on the memo, while all the songs from Rage Against the Machine made the list. It's pretty obvious why Rage made the list, given their harsh criticism of America's domestic and foreign policy. ACDC, meanwhile, had seven songs on the list. But some of the song choices seemed pretty ridiculous, at least in my humble opinion. The Bangles' Walk Like an Egyptian and Metallica's Enter Sandman was on the list because of the references to the Middle East. Other songs on the list included the Rolling Stones' Ruby Tuesday and Leonard Skinner's Tuesday's Gone. It's thought these songs were chosen because the attacks happened on a Tuesday. Then there were some really bizarre choices. The cover of Smooth Criminal by Alien Ant Farm was on the list, while the original Michael Jackson recording is not. The list also featured some of the most popular songs in rock history, including Stairway to Heaven, American Pie, and Imagine. What's funny is that it was widely reported that the memo came from the corporate office of Clear Channel, but when newspapers like the New York Times and the LA Times dived deeper into its origins, it seemed like nobody wanted to take responsibility for the memo. The New York Times would report that the list was originally smaller than what was included on the infamous memo writing at the time, Others in the Clear Channel network said a smaller list of questionable songs was originally generated by the corporate office, but an overzealous regional executive began contributing suggestions and circulating the list via email where it continued to grow. But a spokesperson for Clear Channel claimed that the list never came from the corporate, instead claiming to the Austin Chronicle, it was from this one program director somewhere in California. So this fellow created a list, he thought, gee, I've got some songs that I think some listeners, some listeners, might find offensive right now. So we circulated the list to other program directors. It never came from corporate. It was never a banned list, they would say. It's also important to note that it was widely reported that these songs were banned from being played on Clear Channel stations, when in fact they were not. The LA Times would report, the Clear Channel list is not a flat prohibition against these songs by the nation's largest chain of radio stations. They're simply recordings whose appropriateness has been questioned by individual program directors. It had appeared though by late October of 2001, a lot of stations went back to playing their regularly scheduled programming. As I had previously done a video on the band Drowning Pool, whose song Bodies made the list, and it finally appeared to be hitting the airwaves once again. That does it for today's video guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again on Rock and Roll True Stories. Take care.